straight to my channel. It's Cerise here, and for today's video, I have Dream Flower Lashes lashes to put on for you guys. So I have the purple ones. These are the Rose 9, and then it's kind of like a like a white brown, almost brown lashes. And then I have the standard black. So this is like do-it-yourself eyelash extension. So I'm really excited to try these. This is the Bonda and Sealer. It's waterproof as well. So I'm also going to have a shower after this to see how they hold up too. And I'm going to wash my hair. You guys know how like, how like touchy that is. Then also this, and you can brush your little lashes with this little tool and then place the lashes with this as well. So I think I'm going to get started and give these a go. These are about $40 a packet of these. And then um, the Bonner and Tilly can get on the website as well. So if we open it up, I'm in the sun, so I'm like leaning forward. So if you open it up, you can see here Dreamflower Lashes. This is it here. We have the Lash Bond and the Lash Seal. So the Lash Bond, apply the blonde bond to your natural lashes. And then the Lash Seal locks the clusters in place. So this one, I think how you apply them is you brush it onto your lashes and then you stick the lash to it. So brush my own lashes and then put this on and it should work. I think that's how it works. Now, I don't know if I want to go for the purple ones or for the brown ones, because the brown ones are, like, really cute. Like, look at these. Like, just look how beautiful these lashes are, and they feel so nice and soft as well. These ones come with, it looks like the little clusters. These are a good amount of clusters. I think, like, maybe one purple would be really cute. Like, a little purple vibe would be really adorable. It's, like, purple mixed with brown. It's, like, really cute. Then I also like the brown too, but then standard black, like you can't go wrong with standard black. I think we'll just do a nice black set. This feels so satisfying, by the way. These feels like such good quality lashes as well. I'm like, oh, they feel really nice. Um, and there is the different like mills as well. So this one is curlier than this side here. We've got 16, 14, 12, and 10 mils as well. So I'm only going to need a few of each, and I'm going to start with 16s on the outer, then 14, then 12, then 10. So I'm just going to go ahead and open these up and have a wee nosy at it. So we need the Lash Blonde, the Lash Bond, which is what we put onto our natural lashes. So you can see here, there's just a little spoolie. She has it on there and it is curled as well. So that looks very nice and easy. And then the sealant is this little clear guy here. So these should last a couple weeks as well and it's waterproof. So I'm excited. I want to see how, <coughs> how they go. So, so because good. I am only going to be painting my eyes, I think I should get my fringe back. Um, like if I just get my fringe out of the way, just so like <laughs> my fringe is out of the way so I can do this eye. So because I'm just putting this on my eye and not these lashes, I can just pull these lashes off as I go. So I'm just going to get that bonder. So we'll just get this bonder here. And I haven't used these before as well. I'm just doing what it says to do. So let's go. So I'm just going to do this and literally, oh, it feels really like nice. Like, it's gone on real smoothly. Okay, so I'll put a bit on like that. Kind of like mascara. And my eyes I've just cleaned as well. I'll like, make sure I don't get everywhere. So let's get one of these little 16s from the bottom row. And then we got it on the little tweeze like this. And then we'll just kind of smush it on. See what happens. Alright. Oh, she came off. Alright. I'm going to trial and error this, see how we go. And then if I just pinch it on. Yeah. All right, seems good to me. And let's grab another 16 and smush that one on as well. So I have used a few kits that have these types of lashes and always the first time you're trying a new one, it can be a bit awkward as you can see here. But once you get the hang of it, it's nice and easy. But my tweezers have some of that bonder on it. There we go. So because I've done that outer corner now, I think I'm going to go inner corners with a 14. Because that is not as, like, heavy. But, like, for this part of my eye. Oh. So the reason why it's sticking is because there's a little bit of the bonder stuck to the thing. So there we go. My natural lashes on top have actually <laughs> mushed in, but that's all right. So now I need to put some more bonder on to the rest of my eye. My eye is kind of sticking together because the bonder is on the other parts of my eye now. Because I've made a mess of it trying to navigate how to do it. Promise you the second eye will be much easier. 
So I'm going to grab another 14 now as well. Put that on the middle. It's because my eyes are just shutting on themselves and sticking together now. Whoa. I should have labeled this video how to fail at putting on DIY lash extensions because the bonder is all over me now and now all the lashes are sticking to me. Oh my goodness. All right, I brought the mirror closer to my face. I think that was my problem. I've also moved to 12s too. So that is my first 12 going on. And I think I don't want to put any more on that eye, but it's looking pretty good so far. I think it's because it was so far away from me that it was getting really difficult to actually apply those lashes. So now I'm going to get the little tweezer tool and I'm just going to pinch my natural lashes with what I've just done. And I was applying the lashes underneath because if I'd placed them on top of my lashes like normal ones, they would just stick like anything to the bonder and it would just mush up all my lashes so being underneath it is easier to apply them and they stick much better so there we have that side too so it does feel slightly sticky at the minute but once I apply that sealer and seal it in that stickiness should go away it's just because that bond is trying to make everything bond to them so now we've got that on let's get the sealer in and seal these bad boys so I'm just going to lift my eye up seal underneath to get rid of all that sticky residue And just seal on top too. Seal it in. Just like that. And then I'm just going to pinch my lashes together again. Just with that same tool. Oh, man. There. And then there are my lashes. So I'm just going to give them a little brush. Just brush everything out. So I'm just brushing downwards like that, making sure they're actually stuck on. And then that is it on there. So I think that is a good curliness to them as well, making sure that they're not sticky. And so now I think I'm going to do the other eye now, and I think the other eye is going to look good. So let's start on that. So that's what we've used so far. So I haven't actually used a lot. So let's go back to the bond. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna scoop it off here. We're gonna trial, do trial and elimination to see if this is actually better. And I'm just gonna put it at the roots. Just brushing a natural lash. I'm just gonna do the whole thing. There's a little bit of bonder on my inner lash line. So I'm just going to quickly get a cotton bud and just wipe that because I don't want any lashes to stick to that um, because it will make my eyes stick to the underside. So these lashes are really gorgeous, like really pretty. Like I really like them. These ones are super curly onto my eye. Look how curly that is, oh my god. So I think it was two 16s, two 14s and a 12, I think. So if we put another 16 there. It should be our two 16s and then our 14 and to remove these any type of oil based product should be able to remove these nicely so already you can tell that my uh layout of these is way better than the first eye because this is already looking so much better than the first eye because now i've had a practice with it so always i feel like the first time you do an eye it looks shit Compared to next one, I'm just going to a 12 now. So I feel like I almost want to redo this eye as well. So let's put the 12 on there as well. And you can see, once you've got the application down, you know what you're doing. It's really fast and speedy. I think, I think we are done now. I think we're done. I think we're done. Okay. So I've adjusted this eye slightly as well. And we've re-put everything in place and I think this is it I think this looks good these are nice and sturdy as you can see they're nice and sturdy like they are like on my eye they're on there and there so I'm gonna wash my hair and see 
what it's like afterwards with my hair wet, see if they've tried to come out, but they look pretty good. It feels nice, doesn't feel like icky or anything, doesn't feel sticky, now it feels completely fine. Now that I've used the bonder as well. I did um, just off camera reapply just a few of these. So I did have a remover, which I just removed them with, and then it just with the bonder, I um, just like re to the whole thing. But another thing I did do as well, you don't have to always lift up your eye like that. You could just literally get the lash and just place it with your eye open. But I just like to do that so I can see it a bit better. But that's what they look like. But yeah, they look pretty good to me. They actually look like lash extensions too, which I really like. But I'm going to go over shower and wash my hair and see how they hold up. Because I've just applied them, so let's see. I literally just got out of the shower. I'm still dripping wet. You can see how wet I am. So first of all, I'm just going to dry the lashes. So I'm just pinching that over my lash like that. I'm just drying it with my eye closed, obviously. And now we're going to get the brush. Let's do the moment of truth to see if they hold up to water. So you can see that they're quite nice. Oh, you can see they even had a tug. Look, it's, she's tugging on them. They're still in place, well, this side is anyway. Okay, okay. Oh, poke myself in the eye there. Yeah, still on there, still looking good, still looking fresh. As you can see, it looks like I've just had a fresh, I need to actually dry myself now because I'm so soaking wet, so bear with. Alrighty, so all nice and dry, and as you can see, they are on perfectly still as if I've just put them on, which I have just put them on, but also showered, and they've stayed on. So definitely are waterproof. These are freaking cute. And the packs, like these lashes, like I ended up redoing one eye, so that's why I used a lot of the 16s, because I wanted them to be a bit more longer here. But I didn't use that many for like this packet. You could use a lot of the time, and I just used the super curly ones as well, you can see there. And this stuff here, really, really good. I like it. You can use the two different techniques. I mean, it's completely up to you, but I really, really like the result. The lashes themselves feel really nice and luxurious. They're really like mink-like. And I don't know, they just look quite natural. Like, they don't look super clumpy or anything like that. I think they look really pretty. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video on the Dreamflower lashes. They are really cute, really nice and easy to wear. And they're waterproof. And that is like one of the main things. It's like if you go swimming or something, they are not going to come off. If you're going to go in the rain, maybe just some kissing in the rain, something romantic like that. Your lashes are going to stay, baby. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And until next time, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.